Okay, this video is for everybody out there with a kidney transplant. I'm Robert Galarowitz, just about on my 19th year of a kidney transplant. Thanks for watching, subscribe. Okay, if you haven't, if you're new to our channel, I'm a naturopath nutritionist, but more importantly, I've been through every phase of kidney disease and still living with it, dealing with it. And this video is about people who have transplants. Okay, what happens is because of the drugs, because of your parathyroid hormone, because of the chronic vitamin D, deficiency that we see in people with transplants, it's a very high rate of people will suffer from bone loss. And bone loss is not good because if you have bone loss, you lose your bone density, you're breaking bones easier and you're having a lot of more problems. Osteopenia, osteoporosis can possibly develop. So what can we do about it? Okay, as someone with a transplant, what can we do? Vitamin D seems to be a very good answer and something that you should be taking with a transplant. So there's a lot of studies out there. I'm gonna go over a quick one. The Journal of Bone Mineral Research, February 2022. Two, cholecalciferol, that's vitamin D3. Supplementation attenuates bone loss in incident kidney transplant recipients. There's a lot of studies out there. Most of them show positive correlation with taking vitamin D3 in transplants and better bone loss at the end points, okay, so over time. The ones that don't show it is because it looks like they're using too low of a dose of vitamin D3. So if you have a transplant, find out what your vitamin D number is. So you gotta get it tested or ask your doctor for it. Don't Take the answer of, if you ask your doctor and he goes, it's fine. Don't accept that answer. Get the number. Say, I want to know what the number is, okay? Because optimizing the number is the most important thing to getting all the wonderful, great kidney transplant and full health benefits of vitamin D3. So everybody in these studies was low. It's very common for transplants to be low. I was low. Okay, and I am low. And so I take some D3. I also take polycalciferol. That's the prescription D3, which is more active. So I take both forms so I get maximum benefit. Now in the studies, they use a pretty high dose. Okay, they use 4,000 I use a day, 1,500 I use a day. They use 10,000 for a loading period of seven days. So what we wanna do is take anywhere from 1,500 to four to 5,000 per day. Now you wanna know your vitamin D level on your blood test. So going back to make sure you get that number because you wanna get it into the 50 to 70 range. That seems to be the most benefit where you get it into that 50 and 70 range. So your doctor may tell you it's 24, it's 30, it's 35. So by taking more, you're gonna get it higher and in turn, you get better bone density because vitamin D does so many great things for your bones. Acts as a hormone, okay, it helps calcium absorption, which is super, super important. One of the big benefits, okay, you absorb it into your bones instead of other places where it shouldn't be. Vitamin D3, kidney transplant, find out your numbers and take Take it. Okay, just about everybody's gonna have to take it with a transplant because you're gonna be suboptimal, you're gonna be deficient, low. Thanks for watching. Hundreds of other videos we got. We have a special transplant section, so check out that playlist. To your best kidney health, everybody. Bye.